Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Karen Zima. Now today we're going to work on this lovely church, and I called it Church on the Water. There's water back there. Um, nice fluffy clothes. You stay tuned and I'll show you how to put in all this um, stonework on the dark side and the light side. And there's a little bit of mystery over here with just a hint of a door, it's all the shadows. So I'll show you how I created this if you just stay tuned. If I can do it, you can do it. New Zealand, it's a, a stone old church and we're going to have a summer day with puffy, puffy purpley blue clouds just floating by and in the front is a lot of rocks. And then over here we have um, water. There's just a little hint of that it's on some water, like a lakefront or something. And um, this part is going to be in the shadows to give it a little bit of mystery. There might be a, a door over here, but it would be very in the dark kind of thing. So, let's begin the project. Alright. Some of the colors I put out to start this. Now, this is not a 24 by 30. This is uh, more like a 20 by 24. It's almost square. Almost. So here's the colors we're going to start with. We're going to have sky colors of so purple, uh, ultramarine, and uh, baby blue, and then we have our black and white and a brown. Now we're just going to start with the sky for now. Maybe put in a little hint of water, and there is some mountains back here. So they're going to be like purpley pink mountains. Let's start with our sky. Alright. Now I'm going to get the ultramarine blue. Some more of it. A little more blue. Mix it up. top of the sky and it's a little dark for now but we are just working in our first layer of color. Okay. And more clouds are going to be in here. So let's just get some of this ultramarine blue on. Does look like this canvas has some kind of coating on it where the paint is almost resisting it. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, after we get that first coat on, it should start sticking better. And here's where I want the white puppy on. I'm going to go ahead and get my blue in for now. Let's go for that. Now, ultramarine blue is like a very intense, very intense blue. We're going to maybe leave some of it at the top. Because you know the sky is always darker at the top, and as you rub your way down, it gets lighter. Now I'm going to take the medium shade of blue, that one there, just go ahead, mix it right in with it. Softly blend that out. Nice blue sky color coming our way. It's your sky. You can do whatever you want with it. As 
many puffy clouds as you want. Or maybe you just want to leave it a nice clean on the blue like that. Alright, now maybe I'm going to take a little bit of the ultramarine and just kind of blend it back in the top. And then gradually go down. thing I want to do is dive into this purple color and put a little black in it, darken it down to the bottoms of the clouds. Clouds, I don't know, clouds are just so fun to paint. Anything goes with a cloud. And they're very soft and they're moving, so that's why you don't want them stiff looking, you want them to move. Now maybe around the back of this building, church.
down to the last slit of this painting. What I'm going to do is put in some grout. And I'm just going around some of the stones, giving the illusion of grout. We're not going to do the whole thing, we're just going to do some of it. Take a look, see if there's any areas you want to continue to work on. Give it the once over. Uh, looks pretty good to me. I'm going to call it quits. I hope you guys had fun watching and learn how to do some stone work and some clouds and church and a little bit of light and learned all that stuff. So, hope you had fun watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Keep on practicing. Until next time. Bye-bye.